everyone, it's Char from Char's Fashionation. Here to update you on a few things. See, I, I got this going on on my dress form. Um, and I'll be doing some sewing today. So I have a little bit of it over here on my desk. Sewing. Um, and of course, you know, Death Wish Coffee is a part of that because the stickers on my sewing machine. Okay. <laughs> I had the chance to go out yesterday, get some food because I didn't legit did not have any food in the house. Um for me. And uh you know <sighs> I had to laugh. I had to laugh. Um, let's see. The new flu vaccine should be ready by Friday. <laughs> the new flu vaccine for this thing um, should be ready by Friday. So says President Trump. Uh, there are no curfews. None. There's no curfews. I, I, I've been paying attention to what he says. Now, what the mass media has been trying to brain scare you into thinking, he has not, and I repeat, has not. <laughs> oh. He has not initiated a curfew, which by the way would be martial law. So he has not initiated martial law. <sighs> he says there's only a few hot spots in America, New York City being one. Okay, so people there are just self-quarantining themselves if they feel sick. Wow. The only people really being affected are people that are in nursing homes. Now think about this. You're somebody that works in the nursing home, but you brought it to the elderly people in the nursing home. Instead of staying home because, well, because, you know, you were sick, whatever. Um, and you brought it to them. I have asthma, which is an upper respiratory ailment, and, um, here, here, let me show you what I do in the morning, just so I can continue, you know, about my day, Demucus is clear, I'm good. And you know why? Because I wash my hands and I eat my greens. You know what I had for breakfast? Just because it was in the fridge and it had egg in it anyway and greens, a salad. You really need to keep your proteins up, your calcium levels at a good point, which greens have calcium anyway. Um, and iron, especially if it's spinach greens or kale greens. Um, there are specific greens that have iron. I see people aren't thinking about that. They're all in this mass panic of badagerie. Um, instead of thinking wise, here's something. Wouldn't you be afraid to have a food handler? touch your food. I mean, unless they have gloves on. Wouldn't, you know, you would think people would be afraid of that. Apparently not. Um, so that's, that's just a thought. I'm not afraid of this. I survived the swine flu under the Obama administration, right? in 
the only reason I was in the hospital for 30 days is because I didn't have anybody to take care of me and I had collapsed on the floor and both of my legs locked due to my spine and uh, you know that's a scary situation it is a scary situation so see I can use that as an example of something that's an actual scary situation. Now, this is just the flu. I don't get to go outside much, but apparently, you know, if the sun's out for you, it's cloudy here. Um, you're supposed to go out in the sun, get as much sunshine as you can. Apparently, that helps this. But isolate yourself around your house for the sunshine sunshine um <laughs> i just like don't don't get me wrong i have to laugh at the stupidity i have to laugh at the stupidity of the mass public that thinks it's the end of the world as we know it. It's not the end of the world as we know it. It will be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Oh, my art easel is over there. It just happens to be that Manny Quinn is covering where my art easel is. Um, but yeah, apparently we'll all be fine. I did laugh at the grocery store. I did find some water. Woohoo! Um, <laughs> I bought some jello. Um, if you have the craps, make some jello. Don't let it set all the way and drink it. The gelatin base itself literally hardens the bowel back. I know that sounds gross, but it's true. Oh, and by the way, for those of you afraid of pork, it's no longer in Jello. Thank you, Jello. Um, that no longer contains pork product. <sighs> so you can have Jello too. Um. I mean, back in the day, it used to contain pork. Keep some water on hand. Now, the case that I'm drinking from, I got, like, before everything spiraled out of control. So I had to buy the three-gallon jug. Um... Uh, so it's like, in the news today, the real news, mass panic should stop. People should stop being delusional about the flu. <laughs> um, eat your greens, wear your galoshes, and stay warm. Serious. Um, have a hot cup of tea, have a hot cup of coffee, have... Have some hot tang. Other people might think that's weird. It's actually good for you. It's got vitamin C. And astronauts drink it. <laughs> astronauts also drink Death Wish coffee. Yeah, there you go. Um... So, I just want to say, I'm just going to be back at sewing today. I need to do my bodice, and then do the skirting for it. Yeah, pretty much. The bodice and the skirting. And I'm not going to panic. There's no reason to panic. <sighs> Maybe it's a good thing I have epilepsy and can't drive. And I don't really, like, go anywhere. 
because you have all these people out there. Now, yesterday at the grocery store was funny. There was this group of three people. You could tell that, you know, preppers. Um, they were trying to figure out what to do. They see me grabbing some vegetables. They're looking at me like, huh? <laughs> Eat your greens, people. Um, because you're getting vitamins and supplement off of eating your fruits and vegetables. Uh, this millennial generation has been so pampered they don't even eat their fruits and vegetables anymore. And that's why they have a low immune system because they're told, oh, well, you don't have to eat that. Susie and Jimmy are not going to die by eating their freaking vegetables. Unless they're allergic to something. It's not going to hurt them to eat their vegetables. So it's like, eat your vegetables, people. It's not going to hurt you. Only going to help you. Oh. Later. I might do a sewing video. I stopped to pin some stuff together and then sew on the bodice. I still have some time before the yellow dress challenge is over. And um, I'm rather enjoying my time pinning things together. And uh, yeah, just going about my business. Um. <laughs> Which it took almost 10 yards of fabric just to cut, you know, for the uh, Vogue 1671. Like, why? Shouldn't take that much fabric. Um, but apparently so. It's crazy, though. It's crazy how much fabric you have to cut just for one thing. For a dress. Back in the day, you did not have to use almost 10 yards of fabric to make a dress. Back in the day, no. Oh, my goodness. I have to... I watched this video last night on YouTube. Oh my gosh. She is hilarious. And don't be hating because she took one roll of toilet paper and made something from it. And it was hilarious. And this is what I mean about the news, you know, telling a lie. There is no frustration over a lack of the flu test. There, there's no mass panic over that. Stop lying. You know, nobody's frustrated over that. Christ. On a Christmas tree. Hmm. Maybe I can't find it now. They probably took it down. I wouldn't doubt it. So it's like, here's the whole thing. If people were so upset about this whole thing, do you think YouTube creators would be going outside and doing video? No, of course not. You think anybody would be going to Tokyo? No. Sure, President Trump said that there's no travel from China to here only because the scientists that made the strand that came from China traveled to the U.S. It was in a flu vaccine and it went wrong. Because that person got sick. Okay, well you're going to get sick from the flu shot anyway. 
any flu shot, you're going to get sick from it because what is it? It's a bacterial viral strand of the flu. That's all it is. It's a bacterial viral strand of the flu made in the lab gave to the general public that actually get this flu shot and you could only really blame it on yourself if you get the flu shot and then you get sick. Now in nursing home they kind of push the agenda of old people getting their flu shot and it only affects the ones with a low rate metabolism. Only the low rate. Now you don't hear the news telling you this. Now I'm just going to straight tell you the truth. It's only affecting people with low immune system. It's a, it's a, it can affect you if you have respiratory ailment. Um, and like I said, you know, I have asthma and it hasn't affected me. Of course, I don't really go outside either. Here's the other thing. Why are people carrying hand sanity when you're killing off the good antigen on your body? The good germs. There's bad germs. There's good germs. Why are people killing the bad... Are killing the good germs, I should say. You are killing the good bacterias by using... Antibacterials. Antibacterials are made to... to to wipe out at least 99% of all bacteria, including good bacteria. Okay, let, let's look at something. Yogurt. Yogurt is a bacterial strand that you eat and or drink. But it's a good bacteria. Okay? Everybody's just running around like a chicken with their head cut off. They have no common sense. That, you know, I could have got the stuff yesterday, but I don't have enough room in the fridge um, to make um, my fruit smoothies. So I don't have enough room in the fridge to to like hold a bunch of stuff like that. And, um, it's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine with it. I'm good. I'm good. Have you thought about keeping your iron levels up, your protein levels up? Keep yourself from getting sick. Right? I have a muscle twitch. Sorry. I had a seizure the other day. Um, from sitting on the floor too long, cutting fabric, I ended up with a seizure later that night, and I'm still feeling small effects. Um, but see there, look, I'm not letting it bother me. You know, I had to rest last night, um, you know, take a break from this and rest, because of my ailments, my neurological ailments. I can't sit for too long without not being able to feel both of my legs. That's why a lot of times now you'll see me uh, sitting on the sofa chatting with you or, you know, show you what I'm working on, you know, sitting on the sofa because if I'm not sitting on this sofa, you guys are going to start seeing me on that sofa. Now I'm trying to keep the fat cat from ripping that sofa up. He's been let back here a few times, and I'm trying to keep him from ripping up the furniture back here. Um, 
It's like he's trying to always do in the living room and we, we've caught him and uh, told him, no, bad boy, stop. And then he stops. But, you know, it's okay. He's learning still that furniture is not his scratching post. He has a scratching post. He's, he's fine. He's sometimes, he's just naughty. Um, he's a bit strange, but it's all right. I, I really don't think that there's any such thing as a normal, but that's my philosophy. My take on that. Um, the other thing is this panic of shutting down the schools. Oh my god. You can go to school online. Yeah. A lot of people are taking their college courses online. So it's not like they don't have school. Absolutely they have school. They're just taking online courses to replace going into a building. Um, so yeah, like, there's, there's no reason to panic. It's all, it's all good. It's all being taken care of. The only thing I have to do with my machine today is change the needle on it. That, that was doing some weird last night, so... I just have to change the needle on my machine. I think the needle that's on there is bent, so I have to change it. Um, which I've been saying I need to change that needle anyway. So, see, look, it's all good. A sewing machine needle can get bent. Um, and it's sad, it's true, and it happens. Um, if your tension isn't right on your machine, it can bend a needle. Uh, also, if you don't have the needle incorrectly, it can bend your needle when you're sewing. But see, now we're talking about sewing. So I have to move all of that after I go throw away the container from the salad. Um, I have my hummus snack. It's not really hummus, it's chickpea, but that is hummus. Um, so it's like chickpea puffs. They're actually pretty good, and it's more vitamins. So, um, eat your greens, wash your hands, make sure you blow your nose. That's all. And until we all get an alert over our devices, which, you know, if a national, nationwide thing was going on or something in your state was going on, they have to initiate via your devices or let's say you have your TV on, then they have to do that too, um, is tell everybody that we're under, you know, but they haven't done that. So, there's absolutely no need for the general public to be in panic. Absolutely no need for that. You know what else I saw yesterday at the grocery store? This was hilarious. Old lady <laughs> putting popcorn and potato chips and some sodas and um, some healthy drinks in their carts and I'm like woohoo we're all doing the same thing except for grabbing different stuff for snacks and they're like what's that and I'm like we're having our own snack party <laughs> and laughing at the idiots they're like oh yeah that's what we're here for and I'm like good for you <laughs> and they look extremely healthy I mean, these ladies looked extremely healthy, and they were in their 70s. And, you know, they weren't mass panicking. Um, they even had some greens in their cart. Uh, yeah, 
it was, it's funny. So I even went to Wawa. They were at a toilet paper. I had to laugh about this. They're like, <laughs> so I'm like, the preppers wipe you out from toilet paper and water too. They're like, I think we have some water left. And I went. I found a case of water at Wawa. So I grabbed that. People are looking at me because I had it chucked up onto my shoulder. It was only 24 bottles of water. Um, people are looking at me. They're like, are you alright with that? Are you sure? And I'm like, it's only 24 bottles of water. I'll just keep it on my shoulder. And I'm good. Dudes are looking at me funny. And I'm like, whatever. It is what it is. You have to condition your body. And uh, go outside and breathe some air. If it's sunny where you are. And you don't feel like being around the general public. If it's sunny outside and warm. Go outside and sit in the sun. See, a lot of people are actually missing a lot of vitamins and minerals from sitting out in the sun. Because you're so scared of getting skin cancer. Another thing the news media has scared you about. So, nine times out of ten, you're going to get cancer from the chemical that you put on your body to block the sun. And, um, it's not the sun. It's not the sun at all. Crap, I'll put some copper tone on my body, go outside when it is warm and sunny. Get my tan going on a little early. There you go for the powwow. Get my tan on. Um, so yeah, just just don't panic. Stay calm. Even the president got a test for the coronavirus, and you know what? President Trump's test came back negative. He does not have the coronavirus. He has asthma. Yeah. Now you would think he would be susceptible because he has a kidney disorder and asthma. But the President of the United States, President Trump, admitted that he has asthma. And he's healthy. He's fit enough to run the country. And that's what he's doing, is he's running the country. He's doing quite well. Bravo, Mr. President. I know not a lot of your fans. I could care less. You have your own opinion, but... He's actually doing pretty well. Under the Obama administration, they just let people die and didn't give a crap. You ever notice that? They didn't give a crap. There was no news conference. Um, so FEMA's only going to go to the designated areas where there's like more than 100 cases and isolate that. Or I should say more than like 10 cases, so it's like places like New York City, FEMA's going to be there. No, places in, L in California, like LA, they're going to go there. Um, <clears throat> people like Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star pretty much, you know, self isolated. Shane doesn't really go outside anyway, so his patient zero was a delivery person. A food delivery person. So, um, <laughs> and of all things, it was Chinese food that got him. Um, <laughs> or it was the Taco Bell. His blanket is, it seems strange. His burrito blanket, it, every time I look at that, I want to wash it. But then I realized today, it's just the pattern on his blanket. It's not a dirty blanket. It's just a pattern on his blanket. So, it, it's kind of funny. 
But here it is all this time. I thought that Shane Dawson was sitting around with the dirty blanket. And then I realized, oh, that's just the pattern on his blanket. Still looks gross though, dude. <laughs> kind of cringy for this of us that have OCD and would love to wash that blanket and bleach the crapitola out of it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but then I realized this is the pattern on the blanket. It's alright. So that he could wrap himself up like a burrito. Um. So, yeah. Keep yourself in good spirits because you know why? I want everybody to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed because all of those things together keeps you well. Absolutely. You got stuff to do, it keeps you well. See, I've got stuff to do. So you think about that. In the general mass population, you think about that. You need to keep yourself healthy minded. When it comes down to everything. Okay. I will see you later. Hopefully with some sewing. Right? Right.